Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another installment in our Maximizing Synergy series. We've only got one more of these videos to do after today, and it brings us to the categories that are beneficial to a point. Uh, a lot of these synergies that we're looking at this week and next week benefit you more if you are a newer player just barely trying to learn the ropes of how things are meant to work as opposed to long-term efficiency for a little bit of an extra edge similar to the synergies that we've looked at before today. But we've got to make it through the rest of them, right? So let's jump into the defense synergies. Now, there are a couple of different categories in which you can have a defense synergy. There's actually six of them, and you're going to see them listed on your screen right now. Those are the Generations synergy, the New Avengers Synergy, the Defenders Synergy, the Family Values Synergy, the Heavy Metal Synergy, and the Fantastic Four Synergy. And this is a pretty sparse Synergy category. There's not a whole lot of repeats in here. As a matter of fact, the most amount of defense synergies that anyone has is two synergies and the characters that have two synergies are daredevil doctor strange iron fist luke cage spider-man wolverine cable mr fantastic invisible woman and human torch but there's something really weird with the defense synergies in their own right and that is that for whatever reason you get the biggest benefit by not having a team that has the maximum amount of duplicated synergies. And I'll show you what I mean. On paper, it would appear that the combination of Daredevil, Doctor Strange, Iron Fist, and Luke Cage would give you the maximum yield. And it does give you a lot of benefit, and we'll show that here based off of selecting them and putting them on display because each of these characters have a shared synergy with new Avengers and Defenders. And you can see here, all of them have all of those synergies active. Yet you'll notice up at the top, we have 14% active. I don't know what the rationale behind that is. You would think based off of that layout that you would have a 16% defense synergy. That being said, if we have a look at the Fantastic Four team composition, which again is Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, Human Torch, and Thing, you'll notice that their synergy cap is 16, and they have no other synergies with the rest of their team, but the Thing doesn't have a family values synergy, yet with only seven synergies as opposed to eight of them highlighted which we saw with the previous team composition this team has a 16 percent synergy efficiency i think that there's something wrong with how these synergies are distributed or my other guess is the fantastic four synergy bears a higher weight than some of the other synergies do and we can check that by deselecting uh, one of our members here and then seeing but that doesn't appear to be the case because see you have a fantastic four at six percent and upon adding thing to the team it jumps up to 10 where it really should only jump up to eight so i think that the synergies should be amended or there's synergies tweaking that needs to be adjusted because on paper, the better synergy should be between Daredevil, Doctor Strange, Iron Fist, and Luke Cage, as opposed to the Fantastic Four team. But what do I know? <laughs> Apparently not a whole lot. But uh, that's kind of my thoughts on the defense synergies. Now, which of those two teams would I recommend? I think that you can do a bit more damage and a bit more consistent damage with Daredevil and Luke Cage in the group because of the larger area of effect type attacks that they can do, as well as the defense lowering capabilities of Daredevil. So I think that that team is a little bit more functional. 
and you get a couple of additional synergy benefits with that team as well beyond that which is applied through the defense synergy. But, I mean, if you're really looking to make sure that you can get through some of the stickier situations, then having the Fantastic Four party put together does give you a little bit of that extra defense at the expense of not having any other buffs beyond what you can do by ranking up their uh, individual abilities as well as equipping ISO 8. But what do you think? Be sure to let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I'm very interested to hear your feedback on this. And be sure to leave a like on today's video if you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for your time, and I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.